keep our program moving right along. As, as many of you know, the Cameo stands for the Cleveland American Middle East Organization, or a nonpartisan, nonsectarian political action organization. And we're very, very appreciative the number of elected officials that have joined us tonight. I'm going to invite Mark George. Mark, in addition to being one of our board members, is active in the community. His father, Minor George, is one of the founders of this organization. Mark, why don't you come on up? Mark's going to help us recognize all the elected officials and candidates that have joined us. And uh, Paul here, we're going to start with him. <laughs> Councilman in North Royalton, a very hard worker and uh, responsible for a lot of what happened here tonight. Paul Marnicek first. I want to say thank you to Paul. So, if I miss anyone, please let me know. I'm sitting at table seven. If I sit down, so we can announce you. Uh, I don't want to miss anybody. Um, and I'd like you, the candidates or the elected officials, to stand. Please hold your applause until the end so we can have everyone visible. Uh, this is not in any particular order, just as they signed in. Doris Tarika, who is the uh, Republican State Central Committee in District 23. We got there. Judge Anita Lasker Mays from the 8th District Court of Appeals, Cuyahoga County. George Phillips, please hold your call to we'll do at the end. George Phillips, Ohio House of Representative candidate. Richard May, 9th of, uh, Congressional U.S. District. Tom Heron. State Senate of Ohio for 23rd District. Chuck Germana, who is a presently a county councilman. Uh, also, Stephen Bacchio, on behalf of Judge Janet Nicoloka. Matthew McMonagall, running for Common Pleas Judge, Chicago County. More candidates is Anna Melendez for the State House District 14. David Macko is a Libertarian candidate for Congress, U.S. House District 14. Cynthia Sabolich is, um, sorry, okay, uh, for District 24, Ohio uh, State uh, uh, Representative, Yvonne Conwell, County Council, uh, woman elected official as of now, and Kevin Conwell, elected official, and Judge Mays for Cleveland Municipal Court, Nan Baker, State Representative, Ohio House of Representatives, District 16. Dave Greenspan, County Councilman for Cuyahoga County. Uh, Cindy Marks, Lakewood Council, City Council. Brad Lamb, State Board of Education for the State of Ohio. Judge Robert McClellan, Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Court. Uh, Nicole Castora, here on behalf of Governor Kasich, who provided some of the uh, proclamations but couldn't be here. And uh, also on behalf of the Lieutenant Governor. Marilyn Jekovic, on behalf of the Secretary of State John Houston. Uh, Ant judge Anthony Russo, uh, the presiding judge in the probate court for Cuyahoga County. Former Mayor uh, Jerry Trafis of Seven Hills. And former Mayor um, Richard Gannam, who's also a co-founder of Cameo, uh, Mr. Gannam. And my from, grandfather. <laughs> and his grandfather from Seven Hills. Uh, Supreme Court Justice Judy French, very happy to hear uh, that this is her first time coming to a cameo event, and thank you for doing the Pledge of Allegiance. And also Richard Delaquilla, mayor, former, present mayor of Seven Hills. Um, Pinky Carr, judge of the Cleveland Municipal Court. Judge Kenneth Spanago, judge of Parma Municipal Court. And I think we have covered them all. I just, I, I actually asked, I asked Mark George to save one that I could do it. I like to give him a hard time, but it's my friend, Seven Hills Councilman Matt Trafus. Matt, where are you? Where's Matt? And then also running for county council is Armin Budish. And if there's anyone else, please tell me, because I didn't see it written down here. Please all stand. Oh. I'm sorry, State Representative, State Senator, Shirley Smith, where are you? Running for County Executive. She was here. Okay. Did you all stand? Applause, please. You know, following uh, 
Father's invocation. I just have a, a salute, a calling to all the elected officials and those running. In the, uh, in the Bible, in the book of, the book of Hebrews, Paul writes how those officials in authority use your power wisely. And I think that's a wonderful calling to anybody to want to serve in the public. But it's also more of a challenge to serve it with wisdom and godly blessings. But on that note, you've all heard that phrase by John Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. I just thought I'd let you know. That was from the famous Lebanese poet Khalil Gibran. So, Kennedy is here to see what we can do for the country, not just what the country can do for us.